Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time we're going to be making a circle to oval. Um, it's going to be 8 by 5 oval, uh, 5 inch uh, radius or circle and uh, 6 inches in height. And this is going to be the layout that's going to be required uh, to make this. So, just to demonstrate, as you can see, this is a seam part or one half. Just gonna take this. This should match. I wrap all the way around to that one part. And then I take this, put it back on this other side, and it should match. So yeah, we're gonna be making this. Alright, let's do this. So first, what we want to do is make a, I'm going to go ahead and make an oval. So I'm going to go ahead and make an oval right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, here, it's going to go three inches, one, two, three, okay, so let's go ahead and erase this. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off by using the compass. Like that. Put it right here. Strike an arc. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, divide this in half. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two and a half. Right there. One, two and a half. Right here. Gonna go and throw a random dividing line. Like so okay. One, two, three, so that'd be one and a half. This is to lake, locate the uh, center point of the 5 inch circle. So right here we're going to make our 5 inch circle. So we're going to make it open up our compass to 2.5 inches. And we're going to put our point right here. And we're going to go ahead and make the 5 inch circle. Okay. 
Now we're going to go ahead and uh, finish off by doing the oval. So, so, so I'm going to take this same information and I'm going to put it right here. And it should match those corners, so I want to go ahead and make the oval. Like that. And I'll just put this so that you guys can see as a reference. That that's what I'm making right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this, oops, sorry, right here instead. I want to make sure that both sides kind of match. Can go up a little further. Okay, that's pretty close. So I want to go ahead and make the circle. Okay. So now we got this right here. And we got this. And we got the circle. Which is going to be this. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, divide these in pies. Uh, both circles. This circle right here. Pies right here. And then this other quarter circle here, and the pies are going to be right here. Okay, so I want to first start with this circle. So that's going to be our center. So I'm going to throw some random marks somewhere here in the middle to try to find the center points of the pies. Just some light arcs because we're going to erase them anyways. Nope, that didn't reach. We're going to open up a little bit more. And we're going to erase this and do it again. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this since I already have the information here. Since these are essentially the same 5 inch quarter circles. So this X will go to that center. Line it up to the center of this circle. And there's one pi. We're going to move on to this X right here. This, these two arcs. We're going to line it up to here. Because that's the center of that quarter, inch, quarter circle. There it is. Okay, on to the next. Okay, now I want to use the same, same information and do it on this quarter circle. So this X is for this quarter circle here, so I'm going to line it up to the center of the circle. Okay. This X pertains to this center of the circle, so I'm going to line it up to this center. Okay. This X pertains to this center of the, uh, the pi, of the quarter circle, so I'm going to line it up to that center. And this last one also goes to that center right here. Okay, let's go ahead and erase this. All right, let's go ahead and number these. So let's start right here. This will be one, two, three, four, 
five. Then we're going to go here, six. Uh, I should go here instead. Let me put this. Yeah, I guess I should have. I guess it could have stayed there, but just so that it looks neat and not confusing for you guys. So six, seven, eight, nine, and this will be ten. Okay, this point right here. So as you guys can see, this point one is right here. See that? And then it'll go up to six right here. And then from six to two right here. And then from two to seven and so on. So that's what you guys are looking at. So now I'm gonna go ahead and draw these lines onto here so that'll make sense. So let's go ahead and do that. So from one to six, you really can't see it but you can do six to two so you're gonna go like this you're gonna draw a line six to two and then you're going to go two to seven and then seven to three three to eight, eight to four, four to nine, nine to five, and well, five and 10 is already there, okay? Now that we got that done, we're gonna go ahead and make our chew link triangle. And that is, the horizontal and vertical lines that meet so that you can get your distances from points to numbers so that you can get your true length and in this case it's going to be six inches in height so I'm going to go ahead and make the true length triangle right here Okay, six inches is going to be right around here. Okay, so this is six inches right there. That's the height. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take this information and transfer it over to the true length triangle. So let's start with one to six. You're gonna lock it in place like that, like that. Put your sharp point right here on both where the vertical and horizontal lines meet. Strike an arc. And you're gonna call that one to six. One to six. Now you're gonna go six to two. So the distance from six to two is like this. And then lock it in place like that. Okay, sharp point on your two length triangle. Strike an arc. And now you found six to two. So six to two. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, now what's next? follow the lines see how they go how they zigzag so you're just gonna work your way up so now two to seven two to seven is like that see that okay sharp point on true length triangle strike an arc and it looks like it lands on six to one so then above this one we're gonna call it uh, two to seven. Two to seven. Okay. Now let's go seven to three. Okay. Seven to three. 
go to your true length triangle strike an arc it's really close and it's right next to 62 so right here I'm gonna go ahead and put um, uh, 3 to 7 so, no or 7 to 3 I guess so 7 to 3 and I'm gonna throw a line right here so that we know that that's what it's for okay so that's what we did now we're gonna go 3 to 8 let's use a smaller compass And let's move this up a little bit more. Okay, so three to eight. Like that. Okay. Sharp point on true length triangle. Strike an arc. And it looks like it also lands on 62. So I'm going to put a line right here. And I'm going to call it three to eight okay so I guess they're usually you're they're utilizing the same arc okay okay now what's next eight to four this is from eight to four like so as you guys can see sharp point on true lane triangle strike an arc and this is going to be eight to four eight to four okay now we're four to nine like that okay sharp point on true length triangle and it looks like it lands also on the same one right here so we're going to call it 4 to 9. So I'm going to put a line right here to divide. And I'm going to call it 4 to 9. Okay, next is 9 to 5. Like that. Okay. Let's transfer it over to the two leg triangle. And this arc is now going to be called 9 to 5. And then the last one is 5 to 10. Like that. Sharp point on true leg triangle. And it lands on the same arc right here. So I'm going to put a line right here. And I'm going to call it. 5 to 10. All right. Now that we got all that information down, now we're ready to go ahead and uh, do the layout so that we can go ahead and uh, make this right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. So I want to go ahead and do a, uh, a random line right around here. We're going to make it, our starting point is going to be right here, from 1 to 1, these points. So that has a dis uh, distance of 3 inches. So, I go here, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, so 1, 2, 3. So that's going to be our starting points. This is 1. This is also 1. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and shoot, try to find 6, which is this right here, which is going to be that point. So, we want to go 1 to 6, so go to your 2 lane triangle, 1 to 6, put your sharp point on 1 to 6, open it up to the 6 inch height mark, like so. Lock it in place. Put your sharp point on one. Strike an arc somewhere here in the middle. Do the same thing on this side of one. Strike an arc. And now you found six. Okay. Now we want to go 
Now we want to find uh, from 6 to 2. Remember, we're zigzagging. We're going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we've already found 6, which is right here. So we found 6. Now we want to go to 2. So you want to throw uh, the distance uh, an arc from 6 to 2. So you're first going to go ahead and take your compass and measure the distance from 1 to 2. Okay, the distance from 1 to 2. 1 to 2. And throw a random arc. Okay, and you can do the same thing on six to seven since it's essentially the same uh, five inch diameter circle um, so that's the distance right there more or less so I close it up because obviously it wasn't divided evenly so I'm going to throw an arc okay so now remember we want to go six to two so take your compass look for six to two which is right here that's the arc. Six to two. Lock it in place like that. Put your sharp point now on six. Swing it over, strike down, and now you found two. See that? So we should do the same thing here because I forgot to uh, strike the arc there. So let me just confirm. That that's the distance that we want okay and we already had this information remember six to two like that put your sharp point on six and go down and now you found that side of two okay now we want to go two to seven so seven's right here and obviously on this side okay so now we want to go boom we went here now we want to go back up to seven which is from here this way so go two to seven which is right here drilling triangle six inch height mark lock it in place put sharp point now on two strike an arc now you found seven same thing here strike an arc and now you found seven see that easy okay so same process so now the distance from uh, two to three two to three we want to go ahead and confirm that with our compass it looks pretty close so go ahead and strike an arc to find three and then from seven to eight seven to eight so the distance from seven to eight is like that okay so take this information and strike an arc there put it here okay so now we want to do so we got two we want to go seven now we want to go three so from seven to three so seven to three so look for seven to three which is right here there's the arc Put our sharp point on seven to three open it up to the six inch height mark lock it in place like that put your sharp point at seven and swing it over strike an arc and now you found three do the same thing on this seven boom you found three all right now we want to go three to eight three to eight so here's your two lane triangle three to eight put your sharp point on that arc open it up to the six inch height mark lock it in place like so and you want to go to three strike an up, up up right next to the seven and that is eight do the same thing on this side go to three strike an arc and now you found eight eight and eight okay 
And that's it. That's all you do, you're do. you going to be doing, just repeating the process. Okay, now let's go for 3 to 4. The distance from 3 to 4 is like that. So you're going to swing. And look at that. And do the same thing on this side. We're going to swing an arc. Okay, the distance from uh, 8 to 9. 8 to 9. So 8 to 9 looks like that. So you're going to put this on here, strike an arc on the other side too, so we can find 9. Sorry about that shade right there. Okay. So we got 3. Now we went 8. Now we want to go 8 to 4. So 8 to 4. So look for 8 to 4. 8 to 4 is right here. There's an arc. Put your sharp point on that point and then open up to the six inch high mark. Okay, now you want to put your sharp point on an eight, swing it down, strike a, an arc right next to the three, and that is your four. Do the same thing on this side, go eight to four, and now you found four. Okay, now we want to find nine. So there's 9 right here. So you want to go 4 to 9. 4 to 9. So 4 to 9 is right here. So there's the arc. Put your sharp point on your two lane triangle mark. 4 to 9. Lock it in place like that. Put your sharp point on 4. Strike an arc there. Now you found 9. Do the same thing on this side. Strike an arc, and now you found nine. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, now we want to go and find uh, four to five. So you're going to check your distance. Four to five looks good. So you're going to put this information on here. Strike an arc, and that is a distance for the random five that's going to land. The same thing on this side. So somewhere here is going to be five. And now we want to find the distance from 9 to 10. So 9 to 10. Okay. So we're going to check the distance right here. That looks pretty good. So use this information. Put your compass right there and strike an arc there. So 10 is going to be somewhere around there. Do the same thing on this side of 9. Okay. Now you got your distances. Okay. Now we want to go uh, 9. I went like that. So we want to go 9 to 5. 9 to 5. So 9 to 5 is right here. See that? Put your sharp point on 9 to 5. Open up your compass to the 6 inch height mark. Lock it in place like so. Go 9 to 5. Swing it over. And you found 5. Do the same thing on this side. Go to 9. Swing it over, and now you found five. Okay, and now we want to go and look for ten. Five to ten. So go to your compass and look for five to ten. See that? Five to ten. Five to ten. Put your sharp point on that mark where the five to ten is at. Open up to the six inch height mark. Lock it in place. And now you want to put your sharp point on 5, strike an arc, and now you found 10. Do the same thing on this side, put your sharp point on 5, strike an arc next to the 9, and now you found 10. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, connect all the numbers so we can get a shape going. Okay, uh, so this is basically this. It should match pretty close. So there it is. It's, it's pretty close. Um, so that's 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 it. That's how you make a uh, you make a uh, circle to oval. Eight inch by five to five inch diameter circle. All in the center and six inches in height. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye.